Prabhakaravardhana, also known as Prabhakaravardhana, was a king of Thainsar in northern India around the time of the decline of the Gupta Empire. According to the historian Ramesh Chandra Majumdar, he was the first notable king of the Vardhana dynasty but the fourth ruler from the family, who are also referred to as the Pushpabhudis. He had been preceded by his father, Aditya grandfather Rajyavardhana I and great-grandfather, Naravardhana, but inscriptions suggest that Banabhata, the 7th century Bard and chronicler of the Vardhanas, may have been wrong to call these earlier rulers kings and that they may instead have been mere feudatory rulers of minor significance. Prabhakaravardhana's father, Aditya had formed an alliance with Mahasanagupta of Magadha against the Makhari dynasty. He was married to Mahasanagupta, who was probably the sister of this Gupta king who bore the same name. It is because of this territorial expansion that, while Aditya bore the title of Maharaja, his son was able to use the higher rank of Maharaja Hiraja. In turn, Prabhakaravardhana further extended Vardhana control, using aggressive tactics that resulted in him probably ruling over the Punjab and part of Malwa. Aside from defeating rulers in Gujarat, Gandhara, and Sindh, he also resisted the invasion of the Hunas. The date of death of Prabhakaravardhana is variously stated, according to Majumdar, it was in 604 CE but some sources, such as the military historian Koshik Roy, say 606 CE, and others state 605. He was married to Yasamati, who threw herself onto the funeral pyre of her husband in an act of sati. Their eldest son, Rajyavardhana, succeeded to the throne and was in turn succeeded by the younger son, Harsha, their daughter, Rajyashri, married Grahavarman of the Makhari dynasty that ruled Kanawai.